Welcome back to some Rakuen. I'm Dear Darling and Rakuen o Mitsuke Meshoka. I nearly forgot the intro. Um, it's been a bit of time since I last played. Um, but I did think about it a little bit. Uh, of what happened last time. Can, can we not fill up? Don't we have a bucket? I thought we had a bucket. We uh, The bucket's ready for water. Fair enough. Uh, I thought about it a little bit after I, I finished recording and I was like, you know what? We never got that key. The key that was stuck down the drain. And I assume that's what we use water for. To get it to float to the top. But I don't think keys float on um, water. So, oh, it's a wooden key. That's fine. We can now reach a wooden gate key. Which I assume will probably let us out. I don't know. Down to the south. I mean, I don't think there's any other gates at least. Is this a wall? That's just a wall, I suppose. If it doesn't open this, I don't know what we're going to do. Use the wooden gate key to open the door. Fantastic. Oh, another envelope. What's it? Four, three, two, one. Okay, I, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to pick it up. That's a, that's a little bit far away. Me free. Oh, what did we have? We had, like, please one... Charm five, right? Please me charm. Oh, it's actually on the wall there. <laughs> a vase filled with cherry blossoms. So I guess we need number two and number four. Please stop, please give me charm. Can we open these? I don't know. But hyperbaric oxygen therapy room is now closed. Okay. Oh, it's an envoy. Hello, envoy. The door is locked. Sure. Open the locker. A stack of newspaper clippings have been stapled together and taped to the inside of a locker. Page one torn. 15th of March, 8pm. Though search parties continue in the midst of wreckage, officials say that they will have a difficult time navigating them more severely. And it stopped there. 19th of March, January. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Maybe it's not January, JNR. Now I think about it, because it's not really the um, usual acronym for January. <laughs> for reporting and inquiring about missing persons, 022221-2000. Okay. Open the locker. A two box inside, first box, a postcard from Busan, Korea, and a small piece of a paper laid JR East Pass Limited Express. Oh, the, the Japan Railway Pass. <laughs> Recommended for travel to Aomori, Sendai, and Niigata. I used that one on my holiday to Japan. A torn document detailing a student exchange program sponsored by the Korean government. Requirements for application. Korean students studying abroad in Japan will be given a monthly stipend and assistance with relocation costs. I didn't mean to click the same one. Can we do, do anything any of these? It's a bucket filled with water. You're, you're right, it is. On. It's number four. Hmm. Hello? Gemma, do you remember your password? You really sh couldn't have chosen a more tragic day to meet him. By now, I'm sure it's as clear as the writing of a wall. Okay, I'm sure. Meet. Call the lever. Presumably that opens the, the door down there. Oh, wait, hold on, there's a bookshelf here. Time, 1446.23, height, 40.5 metres. People, 11,450. Don't know what that means. 2nd of July, KR. Oh, so these countries, APN, JNR, KR Korea? What JNR be? I don't know. The 20,000 Korean students in Japan and the number is increasing. And while tensions between Japan and Korea are unlikely to disappear completely, we hope the two nations will continue to move forward towards friendship through such programs such as the student exchange. The cabinet is empty. All right, well, I guess we'll just try and find where our doors open up. Is my microphone too low down? It looks a little low down, hold on. That's a bit better. Or well, maybe it's not, I don't know. So I guess it's opened up this. So we got, please meet, please meet me on, oh, it's probably March, not Charm. Okay, well, I mean, we're not going to be able to pick it up, I'm just telling you. Heaven let six, 11th. Please meet me on March 11th. Okay. Uh, 
Um, can we go backwards? We can. Was this piece of paper always there? I can't remember. Hint, in case I lose my voicemail password, calendar date I'm looking forward to the most. Okay, March 11th then. Oh, oh. It's probably American, isn't it? There we go, first message. Gemma, where are you? We've been trying to get in touch with you all week. Haven't you been watching the news? I think you should come home, just to be safe. Anyways, please call me back. I'm really worried about you. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing, and I understand, but it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. <sighs> Call me back, okay? Please? Gemma was Winston's wife, right? Not Winston, um... Wilson. <laughs> Please bring Gemma to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy room this morning, and we can get started with her first session. The monoplace chamber has an air mask which will need to be set to 21%. This is a very important step in preventing oxygen toxicity. Dr. Yoshida and the team will be there to facilitate. Okay, 21%. Is that like a percentage of oxygen in the air? I think that's about right. I can't remember exactly. It's like 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, like 1% carbon dioxide and... Something else. Hyperbaric oxygen chamber control panel. Um, well, I, I guess I'll put in 21%. Monoplace chamber air brake mask oxygen now set to 21%. Around from Lacuendo. Gemma, where are you? We're running out of time. What about the other red things, like my home is underwater? Don't pull the third lever or we'll all be underwater. Well, I mean, too late for that, because I definitely already pulled it a while back. I guess I shouldn't have done that, but... That is, uh, my bad. Oh! Oh, we're Gemma! Gemma, I'm so glad to see you. Ugh, what a weird week it's been. I can't help but feel uncomfortable with all the, these Kanko walking around. They've been here for three days. When are we going to leave? <laughs> oh, I don't really mind. It's fun when the Kanko come to trade with us, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But still, you've heard about what the Kanko are like. They're no good. I'll be happy when they're gone. So we're Gemma now. In Lebel form, I guess. I don't trust the Kanko. I wish they'd just leave already. Anything else to say? Don't judge a book by its cover. Who's, what, what's the Ilbo tribe village as well? The Kanko don't belong here. I don't care what kind of goods they bring from across the Great River. It's of no use to me. Ah, is this, is this a Lebo village? Is the Kanko village maybe? The Kanko tribe. And then Wilson was in the Kanko tribe. They fell in love or something? Probably something like that. Oh, hey, Gemma. How you been? Oh, I, I guess I just won't reply then. You know, screw you, I guess. Man, I love being able to trade with a Kanko, but... There's always a part of me that can't wait until we leave our land. Why is everyone here so racist? Oh, wait, isn't this meant to be like a, a metaphor for Japan and Korea in this game, right? Good morning, dear. How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the Kanko traders bought this time. Hmm, yes, well, be careful, Gemma. The Kanko labels may look very like us, but inside they're very different. They aren't to be trusted. Of course, Elder. Metaphors and metaphors, women in this game. Uh, what, what, what is that thing? Oh, it's another... It's a Kanko Carpenter. Oh, it's Wilson! Would you believe that it took 500 cedar berries to dye that cloth? I helped my mum dye it. And my hands were purple for weeks. <laughs> oh, um... Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm not supposed... To not supposed to talk to strangers. I understand. Well, my name's Winston. Oh, your name is Winston. Why do I think it was Wilson? I thought I thought it was Winston, but I thought I got it wrong last time, and it wasn't Winston. Oh well. I'm Gemma. Now we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? <laughs> oh, I love them. I have a garden at home I tend to every day. No, but we're not strangers anymore. I have a gift for you. I guess the elder's sort of just standing there, judging. Come with me. Hmm. Okay. Why are Libos also always constantly looking upwards? Oh, they're not probably looking upwards. I just feel like their head's tilted upwards. That's probably their nose now. I look at it. Oh, we're in control. 
Please be careful, Gemma. Sometimes I worry that you're far too trusting, dear. Ah, it's fine. Oh, okay, I guess we're not Gemma anymore. We're just living her story, probably. A single flower. Hmm. Um. Can we, can we, uh, do, do anything? I'm trying to push the boxes, it's not doing anything. I, I guess we leave? Huh? Oh, we can't, we can't. What are we doing? I, I must have missed something down there then. Unless you got anything you'd say, it doesn't seem like it. Do one of these boxes have something in it? Is it because I pulled a third lever? Is this a bad ending? Mm. Do we have anything that can help us? It does not seem like it. Hmm, I must have missed something in. Unless this is like a bad ending? It can't be a bad ending, you can't just end the game like that. I'm trying to interact with everything. It's not a lot to interact with, I'll be honest. So, um... You would have thought I'd found the solution by now. Um... Hmm. This is, uh, peculiar. I didn't think I'd get stuck in this game. And we can't even go back. So I've checked multiple times now. I think I must be stupid. What am I missing? I can't even see a, a different way to go. I mean, I know we're meant to follow him, but like... I can't? Still no one to talk to over here. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks like we want to get to that hole. Oh. Apparently I didn't push it from that angle, so good job me. Another drowning section, I guess. <laughs> These May sections are a little bit weird. I'm oh, sorry, my mouse is on the screen again. Alright, which way are we going? I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a gate here, I guess. The door is locked. We're going to die. Oh, no, no, not. It's going to be kind of closer, I'm not going to lie. Saved. <laughs> it's a very odd thing. I wonder what happens if you do just time out in there. Do you just have to reload from your last save? Found a gate key, in which case we should probably save so we don't um, have to do too much stuff again if it comes down to it. Oh, open the gate, go through the door. Where are we now? Back to Lacquin. Oh, you know what? I haven't put on my Rakuen background this entire time. There we go. Let's put that back in there. <laughs> this has been empty. This has been black on my sides this entire time. Gemma, you made it. I was so worried about you. Aww. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come this way. They shouldn't be able to see us from here. I guess everyone is very inattentive, to be honest. Have you ever heard of a hikari banner? The light flower. My Japanese knowledge is coming in. No, I haven't. Hikari banner is the name of a Kanko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Winston, they're so beautiful. And they're glowing. Every year the Kanko Luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch and the lunar flies feed off the nectar inside. 
Uh, unless Elena had to fly, the lunar flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the lunar flies that make the flowers grow? Yes, but the real special part is about to begin. Why is no one else watching it? Isn't this the whole part of the festival? The lunar flies and the Hikari Bana are very good friends, you know. What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the lunar flies help, keeps, help the Hikari Bana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, no, it's really true. As a flower floats through the air, the lunar flies' fluttering wings help spread the pollen across the land. I don't think this is how physics works. Gemma, look! Oh, I need some water now. Oh, so it's meant to be like paper lanterns, I guess? But with flowers? Like a natural paper lantern. Paper lantern festival. Oh, they're all moving now. We're doing a little dance, are they? Making a shape? I've never seen anything like this in all my life. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Winston. I'm so glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. Into this random house. So no one was like, hey, where's Winston gone? I guess I'll just follow you. We could go talk to the other Kanko villagers and be like, hey, what's up? But I didn't. That water's moving weirdly. It looks like someone's letter. Read it, of course. Hi, Mum and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studies abroad here in Japan. The people are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss a Korean food, though. Ah, so Gemma's Korean. Moving to Japan, right? Did you know that at Korean restaurants here, they make you buy the appetizers? Even with kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. Oh, okay. Wrong way around. Winston's Korean. And Gemma's Japanese. I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm sure you will, too. Anyway, I better get going. Take care. Love you both. Winston. Of course, we're going to fill every sink of water. Make sure nothing in the toilet. What about this locker? A stack of newspaper clippings have been stapled together and taped to the inside of locker. 12th of March. Happen. Police have confirmed 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. That's a lot. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of a cat catastrophe emerges. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centres for radioactive exposure. Some sort of radioactive fallout event happened. It only took a few minutes for the 30 foot wave to. Oh, this is talking about the tsunami. And the Fukushima, right? It only took a few minutes for the 30 foot wave to wash the town away with terrifying force. Hmm. And this is events which followed that and how it affected um, some of the people, I assume. It looks like a plant is still thirsty. How much water do you require? I'm going to guess Gemma was an unfortunate, um, received unfortunate symptoms from the radiation, is my guess. A large toy bear with two heart-shaped, uh, heart-shaped pink get well balloons. And a step into Rakuen once again. We're in his house. Winston, your mother and I have noticed that well. You've been spending a lot of time with that Ilbo girl, Gemma. Ooh? Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is a friend, am I right? What, what do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded labels. Mmm, doubt. We know that trading with an elbow tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an elbow woman. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in this world that you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. 
Oh, excuse me. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. It's completely ruining the tension here. Do you even remember what the elbow did to us? To our people. What they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear. He needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. <laughs> what did you say? Gemma's not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. You're no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as friends, not as anything. What happens if we just do this then? I can't let them see me. Okay, you know, fair enough. She just teleported. Whose room are we even in? A Hikari banner. So, obvious parallels to the real world right now. Generational differences and all that in... Cultural strife. C c country strife, I guess. Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. My home is underwater afraid. Deja vu. And I've got all these buckets we could be picking up. I mean, we already got one choice there. There was a lot of envoys here. 20 of March. I hope that help will arrive soon. My staff... Excuse me, envoy. My staff has been working 24 sh hour shifts just to keep things moving. Without electricity and without our medical supply, and with our medical supplies dwindling, I fear the worst, but I will not give up hope. Oh, we're just dead. Attention all hospital staff, urgent. Flooding has caused extensive damage to the basement and first floors. Don't be a casualty of structural instability. Watch out! What happened to that other envoy that just charged at us, you know? Kind of rudely. So I guess we sort of just move. Okay. <laughs> Staff room break rotation updated. Will you still remember when it's all over? Afraid over. Look at the sign. Attention all hospital staff, urgent. To open the store, you must turn on both of the door's light bulbs. There are two light bulbs near the door. The right left bulb, light bulb is red, the left right bulb is green. Right is red, left is green. Da. Ah. Is there one down there? Ooh. This is like a stealth game now, weirdly. Um, just trying to see what we need to do, to be honest. I see we're meant to water these plants, somehow. Hmm. Can we get in here? Okay, well luckily you don't go the entire way. I guess we need to go into this bottom right room. After that envoy slips out. Open the locker. A weather journal lays by itself on the locker shelf. Read it. 20th of March. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rate about a centimetre of an hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we still lost 11 patients this week due to the harsh, con harsh conditions. You're not wrong, there are a lot, a lot of warm boys. So I guess 30 seconds is how long we can hold, hold a breath. That's not very long, kid. I guess he's also walking. All that. Oh. Oh wait, we can go that way. We've opened something though. Oh, I guess this is what we opened. The current is too strong here. You're unable to move forward. Okay, well, I'm. We're gonna die. <laughs> I, I I don't think we can make it back. I can't breathe. Game over. <laughs> and we swim and we fall. Hold my hand through it all. Are you serious? We should save way more often. Apparently. Okay, well, I'm just going to pause and then cut back to when we get back there. <laughs> ah. Alright, we're back here. <laughs> Let's go again. And this time we know we uh, can't make it out of a tunnel at the end. Because of the pressure is too strong, apparently. So, I guess we'll just pull that and then go backwards. It's a, I, d I didn't expect this game to have a fail state. <laughs> like a game over state in it. Very unexpected. I guess that 
cleared out this way. Probably blocked by spikes, I don't know. We'll go with this right one first. Why not? Because, uh, I don't know, we had to pick one. Auxiliary room right. I guess we can climb this. And we're in the auxiliary room. 12th of March, I ventured into the basement today. Much to my dismay, I found that we had lost far more supplies than I expected. At this rate, we'll have to relocate several of our patients, but I fear that the transfer would be the death of many of them. The table is covered with crisis management pamphlets and empty first aid kits. Alright, what about this cabinet? There's a faded letter inside. Read it. I didn't care what they say. I know in my heart that this is right. When I stayed up enough, I will return to the place we first met and we can start a new life together, away from all this. I assume that's on Winston to Gemma. Does this count as turning on the light? I'd imagine so. We probably can't turn it off again if it... Ah. Ah, okay. Set it to red. Because right is red. Although it looks very yellow through there, but, you know, I'm just going to assume that's a yellow for correct. Auxiliary room left. Is this going to be a letter for, from Gemma or something? 19th of March. How long would it be before help arrives? We wrap them up in blankets. We work 24 hour shifts. But unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. There we go. What time is it? Mm, quarter past 12. That should have opened. Uh, it didn't. Was that yellow? That might have been yellow then. I don't know, it looked kind of orange in the... It looks kind of orangey. Kind of like when you got flux on. Nope, uh, I mean the only colours are red, blue and green, so that's almost certainly correct. Ah, uh, we probably have to go back upwards to that middle door, don't we? That's correct. Probably. Go back up to the hospital. L'hospital. Can we make it out? Ooh. It, it, what? Dude was psychic. No! Okay. <laughs> These envoys are very annoying. I will give them that. You know what? Because I'm paranoid? Save. <laughs> Don't want to die again. Is this a generator? Turning on water pumps start draining water. I guess we go back down then? And then, and then what? And then we can go through the, the far tunnel. Mmm. Because the pressure is not as high anymore. To be honest, I feel like they should have put a gate here. To that some like water control gate, I guess. So you didn't make it all the way up here and just die. <laughs> but maybe I'm just saying that because I died. Um, this is a box pushing puzzle. And it's a pretty easy one. <laughs> I assume that opens a middle gate. It did indeed. So we'll just um keep going. Not really sure what to expect. I'm not sure how we're gonna wake Gemma up. Isn't that kind of what we're trying to do right now? Save Gemma. Gemma Leflamina. That was like some children's book character called Gemma, right? Or am I just making it up? From like Jacqueline Wilson? I don't know. Another vine upwards. Let's just go up and see where it takes us. That door is locked, so the only way is up. Newspaper clippings? No? Just, just more envoys. Oh. You're going to have to move them. They won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bulletin boards for access codes. If the water does, doesn't reach second floor, we should be okay. We'll hang on as long as we can. Go now before it's two. Well, I think this is something that we should continue on the next episode. Seems, seems a bit hectic. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Lacoin, and I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. And I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time. Bye-bye for now.